from Bell Direct. And just on Colin's food, um, bucking the trend on the market, and that's despite the loss, Julia. James, it's not often that you see a company coming out with a loss, but the shares rising. But that's exactly what we've seen with Collins Food today. The stock up 2.3% at the moment. Now, the loss is really because they have uh, written down that investment on Sizzler, and they won't be reinvesting uh, anymore in Sizzler. So looking at the past, I guess Sizzler has been a weight on the company. Looking forward, Sizzler, Sizzler will no longer be that weight. And the underlying business is looking pretty good. Revenue was up 30%, underlying profit was up 37%, and the dividend also rose. So altogether, a pretty good result coming through from Collins Food, even though it did announce an annual loss. More broadly, Julie, your thoughts on the market? Pretty disappointing for the Australian mm. share market, and it has been a tough couple of weeks for Australian investors. We're right in the middle of confession season, and a number of companies have disappointed. This week, we saw a massive downgrade coming through from flight centres. So I think some of those jitters remaining, and of course, it's all about Greece at the moment. Greece and its creditors, there's a 30th of June a deadline for a 1.5 billion euro payment to the IMF. And also, they need an extension to the bailout by that date as well, or they could lose about 18 billion billion euros worth of funding. Now they really need to come to a resolution in the next 24 hours to get these reforms through Parliament as Germany is demanding. So Greece is the big unknown at the moment and the market is watching developments very carefully. Unfortunately it's had a negative impact on our market. Every single sector is trading lower. Most sectors are down over 1% on the market with just one exception and that's the financials. We're actually seeing a little bit of strength coming in uh, the banks. Commonwealth Bank in the lead there and that's not surprising given that it's the first out of the big four to pay dividends in August. Slater and Gordon having another um, terrible session. They're down a further 17%. At one stage I think they were down as low as 23-24% during the session. If we have a look at Slayer and Gordon, they made this massive UK acquisition of Quindell and it was supposed to be a transformational move for the business. But if we have a look at some of the reports now coming out of the UK, it does look like there are concerns about the accounting in that firm for a, a couple of years. So a potential accounting scandal to en engulf Quindell mm -hmm. is not a good move for Slater and Gordon, especially so early in the piece and so soon after it has made uh, that takeover of the company. So Slater and Gordon shares absolutely plummeting today. The shares, I think, down 17% mm. at the moment. Yeah, worth noting, Slater and Gordon, in um, an update to the market, has said that it is confident that it has no liability in relation to the ongoing investigations uh, relating to Quinn Dell. Uh, not helping, as Julia mentions on the market, though, down about 17%. Julia, as always, great to get your thoughts. Thank you. Thanks, James. Julia Lee from Bell Direct.